uh, I suppose my fiction is mythic. I don't really know what the mythic mode is. It just seems to me more important uh, than realism. And uh, it's the sort of writing which establishes patterns rather than facts. I think he's a surreal writer. Uh, he moves uh, from uh, a surface which starts or begins to uh, seem ordinary every day in a certain sense. And then he keeps turning it a little bit and turning it until, as I suppose he would like to, to, to say, you get a, 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 a transformation of that reality. Uh, but in that sense, um, most of the South American writers, for example, Marquez, uh, Fuentes is in his Terra Nostra and so on, are mythic. Uh, Hundred Years of Solitude is a fundamentally mythic book. Uh, most of Faulkner is mythic in that sense, too. Well, when I first started to read Faulkner, I was astonished by his own astonishment. Uh, everything in Faulkner is much larger than anything in life. Uh, and Faulkner retains in his work, and I suppose retained in his own imagination, a kind of awe of things. He wrote about giants, really. He wrote about uh, uh, people who uh, had a kind of uh, character uh, giganticism. And it was that which really attracted me to Faulkner, and which I suppose I tried consciously to, uh, to imitate in my own work. And of course, uh, uh, Faulkner is, a, is of course a dangerous person to, to, to allow yourself to be influenced by, in a way, because he's so overwhelming. What, uh, and you can see the influence on, on Stanley, but Stanley has managed to, to uh, let that influence work in such a way that it's, it's not, uh, you don't just say, aha, here's Faulkner, you know. Never have, have I felt that reading Stanley. But I think that one of the things you do see is, is Orger, right? This mythic thing that we spoke about with, with Stanley before, but, but also the high energy. Uh, verbal level is, uh, in, in Faulkner is always high, and in Stanley it is always high, too. Uh, I, I admire Faulkner for his hyperbolic imagination. I admire Faulkner because he'll damn, new, damn near do anything. Uh, he likes a lot of other writers, Gaddis, for instance. Uh, he likes uh, certain of the work of Barth and uh, uh, people, Coover, and so on, uh, that uh, uh, are his peers, in a way. Uh, as Bellow says at the beginning of uh, The Adventures of Augie March, a man's character is his fate. Uh, he's born with it. He's born with his character. Those are the kinds of people that I write about.